Over the years, the Waterloo area has seen a decline in the number of jobs, with businesses moving elsewhere in the city and the reduction in workspace that's resulted from that. At Elizabeth House, we have the potential to deliver over a million square feet of office space, which could provide up to 12,000 jobs, which we hope will return the Waterloo area to its former glory as a key office location in London. We purchased the Elizabeth House site back in May of 2017, and we appointed Alford Hall Monaghan Morris Architects to take forward fresh proposals for the site. We chose them as our design partner because they have an exceptional track record of delivering office buildings in London and they also have a lot of experience in the local Waterloo area. So it's undeniable that this is a gateway and landmark site in Waterloo. You're going to experience it whether you're a resident, a commuter, a worker or the general public. The development will bring benefits for different people. The existing Elizabeth House building is roughly 200 metres long. It stretches from the north to the south with a large 15-storey tower to the north. Between our proposed development at Elizabeth House and Waterloo Station, we are generating what we've called Waterloo Curve. And Waterloo Curve ultimately is a new pedestrianised space between two retail spaces created through Waterloo Retail and our new Elizabeth House development. What we're looking to create is a new public route that will open up to three new entrances that are going to be delivered as part of the Waterloo International Terminal. As well as being a lush green space that houses our office receptions, the promenade also provides you with an additional route for those who want to continue travelling south towards St Thomas's Hospital or further down. It's a key site in London that is at the junction of Waterloo Station, a huge road network and the river with a series of new developments and old developments that have kind of defined the regeneration as part of this area. The site has the ability to deliver much needed capacity relief for Waterloo Station, which will vastly improve the experience for the 100 million people that use the station every year. It is probably the most extraordinarily difficult site in London. Numerous railway lines and stations mean you cannot put any structure down there. There's a dilapidated, unsatisfactory building city on the site. So to release this site, we've had to think of architecture as engineering and infrastructure. So we have an arch that spans 100 metres from one place to another, from which we suspend half the building and on which we sit half the building. But that unique problem creates a unique opportunity to make a different kind of development, one that is addressing the station and almost becoming part of the infrastructure of Waterloo. So what we've tried to do is create a building that connects the station, allows people to exit from it through our building, they exit into a well-lit, green, column-free space, which is a room for Londoners to journey through on their way to work. Approximately 50% of all people exiting out of Waterloo station come out of Victory Arch on the western side of Waterloo. As far as we are concerned, we are looking to significantly enhance and improve the public realm around the site of Elizabeth House, looking at creating a gentle slope that will take you from street level up into the station with step-free access. And then as we come down through York Road, enlarging and widening as much as we possibly can the existing pavement, decluttering it and making for a much better pedestrian movement. This building is looking to set a new standard for how we think about occupying buildings in the city. Firstly, through its silhouette, which has a end stop vertical marker here onto the IMAX roundabout. It's kind of crucial junction in Lambeth. But it also looks at silhouette from the bigger view, almost as a series of flat irons. Its whiteness is really about telling a story about a building that sits making an elegant silhouette against the sky, but it's a whiteness that is enriched architecturally by each layer having the expression that deals with sunlight, daylight, view, and form. And then that stepping silhouette is then exploited with a series of gardens that serve individual office floors, but also the collective public of this building. So this is our vision of a 21st century office space. So we acquired the site in May 2017 and since we acquired it we felt that it's really important to make some short term improvements so people can start to get excited about the longer term plans. We've brought some new retail, so a lot of local operators as well as some newer bigger brands that you'd recognise like Crosstown Donuts. We've also partnered with a fantastic local college who do a lot of work in the area 
deliver a public art project which will bring some life and activity to the public colonnade. Over the last nine months we've been busy engaging with as many of the local residents and local community groups as possible. Getting as much of the thoughts, feedback and ideas from the public has been really important to us. It's a really important exercise in shaping and tweaking our designs ahead of us submitting planning application. It's been great getting to know the local community in the Waterloo area, as well as all the local stakeholders, knowing that we can play such a key part in the regeneration of this fantastic area.